Yeah, exactly. Look at this. Unrequited love, keep an open mind, and true love. And I, I, and what's the bottom of the deck is love yourself first in deception and healing family issues. So what I'm feeling is this why this is why this love yourself first is why this is a you time. This is a time for you to really open yourself up to the past. Um, and it's it's illuminating. Why? But it's because it's in preparation to a new form of love. It's in preparation for uh, you energetically meeting someone more in alignment with you. And this also requires the mirror, I feel, where you're going to see a reflection of, and, and it could be just be in your, in, there's, I'm feeling, it's hard to explain what I'm feeling. I am feeling like things are happening on a day-to-day -day that is kind of making you question you and uh, a lot of the attachment to what you interpreted as love and what you're going to interpret as love going forward. So that's why I feel like Spirit is saying, keep an open mind, be open to what is being shown. Don't be attached. You know, this is, you know, the deception. So be careful with your the illusions the mind the mind can obviously lie to us the ego can lie to us because we can then hold on because of, out of security and comfort there is comfort which is why i feel this energy of what it means to you like what love means to you going forward because there is a comfort in an old way and I feel that that's the deception and you have to learn to, a new love, which is also, which will begin with learning yourself first. Um, and then that's how we're going to align to this beautiful true love that obviously wants to be gifted to you because I've been feeling this gift energy for all the signs and I don't see it any different here either. So let's see what else we've got for you, Aquarius. I mean, beautiful Aquarius. I've already seen why this is coming through. This is truly a turning a turning leaf that was the nine of swords um that wanted to come out what do i have here i need one more thank you yeah exactly so oh my god wow okay aquarius this is it so we have the ace of swords we have the ace of pentacles right the aces are a gift source presents us gifts and i feel this this purge these lessons these understandings are required because the ace of swords is the clarity in the mind and i think there is an honesty that's why the open mind expand it's an it's a need for expansion in the mind to see things a lot more clearly and to see yourself more clearly for this new beginning because the ace of pentacles are the people places things the realizations of our outer world and what how we re, 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 replant the replanting right you're we are in september right and normally this is where we get to harvest and so for some of you it is your harvest the change that's coming but of course we have the wheel of fortune destiny and this is the turning page right and i love the wheel of fortune this is the 10 which is um the ending of one cycle beginning of another but this is also the one and the zero which is to me always the combination of the magician and the fool and these are the this is the universe telling me with the ones so we're confirming magician energy here i want to point out also asa cups in the bottom another one so three aces showing up in your read and this is uh, spirit is saying you have the ability with the magician energy with all of the lessons everything that's happened up until this point to really turn this leaf and we have moving on here with the six of swords and this is harmonization this is a self this is 
so sacrifices to and the loyalty to and your commitment to this change and the growth that's required in the mind to be able to create this um, because again it's alchemizing okay so I know this is why I love your energy Aquarius because you guys are always so deep so deep all right give me one ace of swords Ace of Swords. Yeah, judgment. Like it's a renewal. Wow, temperance. I didn't even see that. Yeah, so it's a complete renewal. You know, this is guidance. The universe presenting you. Does it come with its trials and tribulations? The Nine of Wands. Yes. Are you guarded? Absolutely. You're. It's a time to reflect. The nine is the hermit energy. This is the nine of wands of the minor arcana for hermit energy where it is burdensome of what's being shown to you, right? Judgment, your judgment day for this renewal. And the tempering here is the lessons and it's more of also tempering the mind because we're clarifying the ace of swords and we get to really temper our our soul and our waters because I love that it's you know here the angel pours the waters from different cups and this is how we get to balance out our emotions as well in uh, our experiences and in, and in those lessons and so this is like the assistance right the assistance of Archangel Michael showing us our judgment day of and it's this is a mirror truly is a mirror and you get to watch with the nine of wands but you also get to drop the burdens and that would be the ten of wands for the change which is another ten giving you the opportunity to take this leap and to have an opportunity for change right so let's see what this ace of pentacles is Wow, four of wands, yeah. A, a, a grounded connection. Like you're four with the ace of pentacles, something in your physical world is going to really drastically change. You know, release a lot of things here. Can we run this ace of pentacles? You know, some of you, again, it's that twin connection. So it's the mirroring with, between your twin and some of you it's just a, a union you're meeting someone who yep, new chapter it's like a turning point in your life with the world and um there you go king of swords you your element your energy your embody this is the initiative to you so for me i'm feeling it aquarius that you need to make this decision to really commit to this this cycle this new chapter it is going to require for you to keep an open mind obviously a lot of you are probably ready for this new chapter in your life this new love for some of you it could be um, a Sagittarius um, fixed sign it could be another air sign but a fixed sign it could be a Leo Scorpio um, my goodness you guys Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Taurus. So give me more on this destiny, Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Cups. Oh, I did see this. Um, and these are the options presented to you. And again, to me, I'm really seeing the keeping the open mind. This is the expansion with the seven of cups. All the cups here is different opportunities. There are different things in each cup. This is the expansion that's required. This open mind is the expansion that's required for this mental shift to happen, for you to align much differently um, with where you see your life. Let me see, give me one more for this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Ace of Cups again. This is beautiful. This is, oh my God. I love the reads this week because everyone's been getting like three aces. So many aces. And this is because there's fresh energy coming in. Alchemizations is here. 
and new change, new love, new physical, new outlook, new everything is here and it's here if you want it. And I feel energetically, although it's difficult, I feel what's being processed. Um, it may not feel this way with this energy here, it being very burdensome and tiresome and so much being seen, but because I always feel Aquarius holds such mature energy, you guys, and you're bo embodying your element here with the King of Swords, it's how you're really, it's a commitment to this process. It's just, just commit to it. And this is what's available to you. Um, so let's see what this moving on is six of swords yeah mentally like it, just really surrendering i'm feeling so we have four of swords with the five of pentacles yeah you know it will it's not going to be easy because it's changed we're moving from a five to a six so we have look what we got here you guys you got a four of swords a five of pentacles and a six you got four um four five six this is it's gradual. It's a gradual process with your mind. This rest period, which is the hermit period, it is going to be a time to just really think. Four of Swords, you get to take a break, and it is needed with all the change to find the physical change that's probably happened. You know, it could be a span of five months. Um, could have been five years for some of you, but or five weeks, whatever the case, something has been expanding. But it, because we have the chapter here, the world, it's because it's been big and it's been it's been a thing that's happened for a long time. So when you're the world shows up in the reading, this is a big chapter in your life that's approaching a change, and the adjustment is necessary with the Five of Pentacles because. In this Four of Swords energy, you will feel like you have to kind of grieve this attachment to to the pain. There is a the, there is pain, and the the emotional body can get attached to the emotional pain, and this is where sometimes souls get stuck with their story and I feel like this is where you get to really harmonize and get clear and just surrender and just release and let go because you have this opportunity to start over and it will require you to really expand yourself with the seven of cups and um, keep an open mind here let me get a little more for this moving on spirit of the six of swords Wow, with the five. Talk about lots of fives, you guys. So the change is not five of wands. It's it's change. And there's no way around releasing this part of your life. It needs to be processed with the four of swords. And that is what the reflection is here. Ace of swords. It's a gift to look and see and really change and decide to drop with this nine of wands and just say, you know what, I'm gonna take this last wand and I'm gonna call it quits. And I'm just gonna really learn to love myself differently, but also learn to release this attachment to how I interpreted love to be or this attachment of how it's supposed to feel for me. All right, so let's see what the blockages are here. Yeah, I mean pain. The first step is acknowledge the pain. And there is things that need to be acknowledged with these fives that no more deceiving ourselves and we can't hide the pain anymore. We gotta face it. We gotta let the, it's the pain. It's the growing pains. And with the expansion comes the growth. And again, there is an attachment to the comfort. Sometimes we get attached to the emotional pain because there's comfort, it's what we know, and but we don't grow from that, you know? And so we have to acknowledge it and then we have to transmute that. So let's see what guidance for you. Let me 
for Aquarius. Prayer. So your angels and spirit guides have seen your struggles and are urging you to pray for guidance. The divine can only guide you when you specifically ask for their help, asking you shall receive. And that's what this is. This is why I can say there is there is clarity from your guides, Archangel Michael. If any of you really, really, really with Archangel Michael, but I do feel there is a protection here for you to see, to sit with yourself and see. Um, I want to pull, I haven't pulled these in a very long time, but I feel, I feel it's appropriate for you. So I want to see what is the, I love these messages because to me, there's their spirit message. There are messages from source, from God, you know, of our transitions. So let's see. Here we are, triggered. If an old wound hurts all over again, give thanks and stay determined. Your purposeful attention to transformation is yielding change and a greater love is awakening. And that's exactly what it is. This greater love to you will awaken a greater love that's gonna just add to your life. But first we have to face the triggers, be honest with ourselves, with these fives and our struggles and what we attach the emotional trigger attachment we have to the emotional pain and so if an old wound hurts all over again give it thanks and stay and stay determined so just give it like okay thank you for showing me right we first have to acknowledge it but you have to acknowledge it you see it once you acknowledge it you see it and you say okay i don't want this a part of me anymore your purposeful attention to transformation is yielding change and that's what it is there are options here that are leading to all these amazing, this awake, this greater awakening within for this transformation and this transition to the love, to love, to the a greater love is awakening, and it really is to you first, and then you can share that with someone else. So. Um, usually that's how it happens and of course shadow work right this is about shadow work and examine your shadow self to understand the parts of you that are wounded and repressed you know air signs you guys are very much in the mind and do not really live too much in the emotional body and i feel this is really pushing the need to experience the emotional body and no longer suppress it and repress it and just deal with it because what's on the other side is a, a greater love for yourself but just a greater love overall and of course source wants you to have that so aquarius i'm gonna leave it there i love you please like share subscribe